Frank, you going to get that dinner in? Well, you're always on my tail. Well, you ain't done nothing all day while I was at work. You're supposed to make the bed and everything. You just been laying around. Oh, get your daggone dinner. Well, you better, Frank. I'm starving. And we better not be having no TV dinner. That's what you're getting. Oh, mercy, Frank. It's good stuff. It's banquet. I'm tired of you. Well, Frank, you got it made here, buddy. You better take that pan out of there. I see it. You're awful grouchy again today. The other day, you was pretty good. There you go. There's your daggone dinner. Thank you, Frank. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Redneck Ways. How y'all doing today? Today is part five of the model build. I hope everybody's doing good out there today. On this Tuesday. Now, what I have done, guys, I've got, uh, I've got all the, um, planks on. I got it all together. I still got to trim a little bit there. And I've got to trim a little bit up here, too. But I do have all the planks. So, today, um, what I'm wanting to do, well, what's next on the instructions, is um, this false um, stern. So, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get that cut out. It says, uh, um, cut out a 1.5 millimeter by 3.2 millimeter um, basswood and glue. So, I believe it's, um, let me get them, get them out of here, I believe it's talking about this, it's in millimeters and that's, I'm lost on that, but I believe that's what it is, that's what it looks like it's going to be anyway. So. I'll have to trim, trim right here, and then we'll get this boss stern on. Um, I'll probably let this uh, soak in uh, Windex, like I did the other when I put the um, the forms in, and um, this bottom here when I soaked it in that uh, Windex, it just kind of. Um, drooped over so but overall guys I made a couple mistakes on this um, when I was um, first started on it um, I read this I've been reading instructions like you're supposed to and I really should have read the all the instructions first went through the whole pamphlet and then started because on the very beginning, when it's uh, talking about um, gluing the planks on, it didn't say overlap them at first. And uh, so I, for some reason, I was thinking I just needed to get them as close as possible. But if I would have overlapped them just a, about a, a millimeter or about, a, about an eighth an inch, it would, uh, it, I wouldn't have had to, um, lost so much up here on top, because I had to, uh, bring this board and this board down a lot. You could kind of tell on this side how that board's real narrow. And the other side's not that bad. See, it's, for some reason, it's not that bad on this side. I don't know, because looking at it from every angle everything looks pretty much in portion so 
Oh, another thing. After I just glued that about 30 minutes ago. That was the last piece I had to glue was this right here to get the all the planks fastened together. Um, today in this video, we'll cut this off. It's got to be cut off on that line. Um, we'll go ahead and we'll try to get um, that fake stern on. And also, I was wanting I'm going to see if the knees are going to fit back here. I'm hoping, I'm hoping where I had to push this these couple boards down a little bit lower, it's not going to mess up my uh, measurements. You know, when I start putting in the seats and everything, which I'll be cutting those out because I've got to cut them out anyway. And I'm if I may, <coughs> oh excuse me, if need be, I could probably make them a little longer. And also another little mistake I did, and um, it's a good little learning thing if anybody's put, uh, building this, building one of these. When on your forms, when I think that's one of them because you probably don't know what I'm talking about if you're new, if you haven't seen my other videos. Uh, the forms was like this. You had a piece of wood here. Well, there's that one. And you have one like this right here. And that way you have something to uh, build around on. Well, what I'm, I'm saying is don't glue. Don't get any glue around this. You know, make you can glue all down through here. But once you get here, don't let glue get there. Because I got a couple little spots of glue on both of these. And now... I'm gonna to have to whittle this out, which I, I I got a I showed this I got a little video I'll put in here. I did this morning explaining this a little bit, but yeah, I'm gonna to have to whittle that out. I might take my hobby knife and take little pieces at a time. <coughs> oh, excuse me, guys, the pollen or whatever is driving me crazy today. But um, if I just try to break this out, it's gonna break this basswood. So. Yeah, like I said, I'm going to try to get the knees in back here. And the um, wishbone or whatever it's called. It goes here. I'm going to see if those fit. I probably, uh, probably, we'll just dry fit those. That little, I forget what they call that. But we'll, the, the knees in that piece here. We'll dry fit, see, make sure they fit. We're going to get this cut today. And we're going to get that false thing on glued today. Still got all kinds of sand. I'm going to have to cough again, guys. I'm sorry. <coughs> I'm so sorry. And my nose is running again, too. Dag on. I just blew it before I started this video. Okay. Um, that's overall. But um, today I um, went to Walmart and uh, bought. I had. Uh, it really wasn't what I wanted. Um, but I got this. It's plastic wood filler. <clears throat> now, I remember back about 20 years ago, you used to be able to buy like this powder stuff and you take, put a little water in it and mix it. I love that stuff. Can't find it. Can't find it anywhere. But this is natural. So hopefully, it's not too awful bad. It's, this, the boat's going to be painted anyway. But, um, I don't understand. I guess it's like a plastic. That's what's called plastic wood. I've never used it, so. Hopefully, it's what it'll, it'll work out. The, um, this, the other stuff that didn't say plastic was super expensive. Um, every, well, everything is expensive now, but, uh, yeah. Everybody knows that. Anyway, that's, this is a cheerful video. Um, so let's not, I'm not going to talk about expenses. So, yeah, we're going to, um, I'm going to fill in with that. You can see I'll hold it to a lot. Whoa, sorry guys. Well, my camera, my tripod is messed up. So, let me hold my finger right here. Hold it up to the lot. See, I've got some air hose. This boat would definitely sink. 
So I'm going to fill all that in. All the, the little places with the, the wood filler, guys. I'm just going to put it real light. And then I'm, um, I'm going to make sure my I still have my lines, though. So it looks like planks. Hopefully, hopefully it'll work out if this stuff is any good and I can work it, it's, you know, I can work with it. So, so that's the game plan guys. So, um, give me a second and get you guys set up and I'll be right back. Okay guys, this is earlier today, Tuesday. I'm, I'm at work. I'm going to be here till five and, uh, I've got one more, um, piece to put on one more plank um this one's drawn as we speak um just um making a note here to anybody that's going to build this one then and then instructions if it would have said in the beginning to overlap each piece like it's supposed to have a little overlap a little overlap and a little overlap then this would have been a lot easier. Um, they didn't um, specify that until like page three of the instructions. When they was talking about plank number five. It's when they mentioned the overlap. I guess maybe they thought a person should know that. So even though um, I kind of screwed the pooch on that. I believe I'm going to be able to salvage this and still make it look pretty decent. Um, note number two. When you're putting in your forms, make sure you don't get any glue on your plank from your planks to the forms. Because the problem I'm having now, where I've took the strong back and everything off, this here is all glued. And if I try to break this out, it's going to break this basswood because this wood is very fragile. This this little model only weighs probably about three grams, if that. So it's not, you know, very strong. So what I have came up with to fix this problem is I'm going to have to whittle all this out. Now I pro once I get down here to the bottom, I probably can just scribe that and break that off. But from here up here on the planks, I'm going to have to uh, take and whittle it out, guys. So that's just uh, a little tidbit. If anybody's building one of these, a couple little things that uh, I've ran across. Um, this is my first uh, little boat I've tried to build like this, so forgive me. We learn as we go, and we learn by our mistakes, don't we, guys? All righty. Um, can't wait till this evening and do the video for you guys. Alrighty, guys. I'm back. I'm back. The weather here in Kentucky, Southern Kentucky, Eastern Kentucky. Where am I? Um, here in Eastern Kentucky. Um, been pretty nice. It's been chilly. Um, been really, really windy. And, um, it's been really hard for people to even try to put out any type of little gardens or anything. Um, I'm going to raise a couple tomato plants this year. I usually grow a pretty good garden, but uh, I'm not going to be able to, um, this year. Um, uh, here, my mom and dad's and deer are way too bad. And, uh, it'll just be a fight with them, because they will they'll come in and eat everything overnight but um, I think I'm going to try some that electro uh, gardening um, I've, I've seen a video about back in the winter about it and uh, and then I seen another guy that I watch all the time um, uh, what's it called deep south deep south something but he was talking about today. He's gonna he's been he's gonna do some that too and I'm gonna give it a little try, a little experiment. Um, I like messing with electronics anyway, so why not try to grow some veggies? But anyway 
here we go. Let's get started. So I need one. I need my glasses on. Um, yeah, get that. Uh, today we're gonna get this bow, but I got something to show you all. Um, went to the flea market the other day. Let's set this over here for a minute. And uh, this one guy I deal with a lot down there. He has a lot of models, and I've been getting pretty good deals off of him. And I think he know he's on to me and knows that uh, he knows I like model building models. And I got about three or four off of him that I got dirt cheap. But now he's on to me, like I say. But got I got uh, 1932 Ford off of him. Um, AMT to roaster. Um, you can build it stock or street. There's the, that side of the box. Um, I believe this is probably about an 80, 1980s model. There's that side. The box is a little torn. I put a little piece of tape on it. Now this says, uh, I guess if we want to build the the hot rod, the street rod, it says um, rod power. Chrysler 392 Hemi engine with dual quad carburation. Um, what else? Ignition. Oh, Megatron ignition and headers. I just thought that was odd for a 32 Ford. And uh, I'm a car guy. I mean, I know a lot about cars, not everything. But uh, maybe that was something they did with the 32 Ford, put Hemi's in them. But uh, I would thought they would put like a. A 302 or something down in it but let's open this up guys and uh, take a look at it now he had a um, he had a Willys about the same year it was a 1980s model and um, it was taped up and everything too this one wasn't that's what thought was kind of odd about it but the the old Willys Jeep which I would love to have to build it was it wasn't in plastic it was uh in on pieces and i had to pay guys are you sitting down twenty dollars for this um now i did look once i i made the the buy i went ahead because i wanted it I kind of felt hurt thereafter but and uh I walked a little funny out of the flea market there for a minute. Um, but, yeah. I looked online. And they're going for about 30 bucks. So, I I didn't know models. Older models was like that. Now, I can see if they're in the ceram wrap. See, the boat I got off the same guy. It was still sealed. And I got it for five bucks. And that's what I was saying. Um, I was getting good deals off of it for a minute. Uh, enough talk little bit more show but yeah it's a uh, this one's all still in plastic it's all there it's an ugly looking white it definitely would be an ugly model if you don't paint it it's all there uh, here's the decals they're a little aged Here's the chrome. I, <clears throat> the grill's my favorite of the 32 Fords. We don't really have all the old cars, that big old grill. And here's the headlights and the windshield. Look at all these wheels. I don't know if this is right or it, <clears throat> if somebody just stuck a bunch of wheels in here. Can you go see those? Surely this one model didn't come for all those wheels. A um, bunch of them you put together. But um, I, I checked and there are four that's already uh, factory done. <clears throat> And 
there's also there's three axles but the axles are here what I am thinking is um, that Willie's Jeep I wanted I say some of the tires are in this and probably one of the axles and here's the instructions <clears throat> little like I said a little aged um, this one here this model well I guess it does say the numbers I was getting ready to say it, it, it don't have no number chart but I guess there is numbers on it I just didn't see any other day I'm glad of that because I was wondering how it's going to put together it would be more just looking at it and putting it together but yeah it's numbered i guess they gave you one in spanish i'm thinking let me see no 32 4 32 they give me two copies there's two copies in this well okay i see what it is this is the stock model that's what it is this is the stock No, they're the same. I was getting ready to say maybe one's for stock and one for street, but uh, yeah, they give me the same instructions, two of them, exactly the same. Huh. That's odd. But yeah, I thought I would share it with you guys. Um, after this model here, I don't know. I've got, uh, I have two other, I have have another model that I have in mind but it may be this one I may do this one I may do a car next instead of a ship I don't know um, we'll come to that when we come to that This we're going to be on this for a while it's already like um, video number 5 and that's all we've got so I don't need to worry and I've got to hurry because last video was over an hour. Alright guys, let's get, let me get started here. Okay, so I determined that, let's go ahead and, um, I'm going to go ahead. Hopefully that helped. It didn't hold, I could <clears throat> Looks like I'm going to put some more glue on that. What I'm going to do right now, guys, I'm going to go ahead and cut this right here. Get this excess off. Get my pencil. <clears throat> I'll put excess here. I'll show you guys what I'm cutting off. Where the excess are, that's coming off. So that's what I'm getting ready to do right now. <clears throat> I hope this saw blade will do it. I haven't had no problems with it yet, but it's always at one time. Once I get it started, it's always kind of hard to start. I'm always so nervous on this thing. Pray I'm gonna break it. They don't weigh anything. It's just so fragile. Cut. 
when you're cutting, guys, always stay on the other side of the line that you don't want. Like, um, like here's the line, and you want to be on that side where the X's are, not over here. Just cut right along that line because you can always just sand it down to where you need it. You can. It's always good to have more than less. I used to put in hardwood floors, and <laughs> one time I cut one too short, and we was getting really low on wood. And luckily, we found one piece for that spot. It could have been bad because you got to order a whole daggone box of that stuff. You can't just go get one piece. So if you just need one piece, you got to pay for that whole box. I enjoyed doing it. I didn't like tile all that much. That's the cut and it. That's it's a mess and it's heavy. But the, the hardwood flooring, I loved it. I loved racking them. I like putting the the different shades of the colors and everything. It just, I loved it. I was in some beautiful homes. I don't know why this is... Usually this stuff cuts pretty easy. Like I'm playing a fiddle. I didn't get to go to the dentist tomorrow. Um, I called. I was supposed to went and got a lot of dental work done. And I called yesterday to make sure I knew the right time and everything to be there. And he's like, you're supposed to be up here an hour ago. And I don't know what they're doing because I know my uh, daughter's birthday is tomorrow on the 19th and when I, I talked to him on the phone a month ago get this appointment I know it was the 19th because I was like that's my daughter's but that's something you don't forget so now I gotta wait till May the 31st the big wet down I wanted to go ahead and get it done but one way of looking at it, sometimes things happen for a reason. So. There it is, guys. And I'll, I'll sand that and get it rounded off. You know, that this boat, and that that's not a mess up. I, that's the way it's supposed to be. It's very shallow, it's very shallow in here. It, the way it sets in the water, I mean, it, I can see what they're talking about because they said it, it was really stable in uh, the sea, in the ocean, and it handled waves real good. I mean, I can see that because, I mean, the way the bottom's made. But it just, there's, it's just not very deep back here in the back. 
It's pretty deeper in the stern. But let's, I'll go ahead and get some sandpaper. We'll work on that a little bit, make it look better. And then we'll put the, some glue there and let that thing dry. It's driving me crazy. That thing's giving me problems. One piece just did not want to do right. I gotta be careful because you get carried away and this stuff, it sands quick and you won't have nothing left. Put a little bit of glue there and put the clamp back on that. And this grill of glue is done pretty good. Um, when I start putting the ribs in and stuff. I'm going to get some um, gel super glue though because it dries a little bit faster. So when we get to that stage, I'm going to uh, get a little bit different glue. Alright, we got that back. And that should dry. And now, let's, uh, I'm going to trim up here on the on the nose the stern and I try my best because this is up this this side here this whoa this side here is up a little higher than this side that was look horrible but um yeah and I went back when this was drying two or three times to make sure that thing was right and it still popped up there. But, I mean, sitting on a dresser on top of a stereo array or something, I think it's going to look pretty good. It's, it's definitely not going to be no um, prize winner. But, I think, with, I think it's going to work out because there was a couple times when I thought, this is ruined. Because... <laughs> No, nah, there was a couple major mistakes. Let me see which one it was. It was this plank. This plank here. It was horrible. It uh, it broke in half. I had to glue it back together. And then when I put these two together, that's when I found found out that this was all these were supposed to be overlapped. So it was way up when I got looking. So I had to take a hobby knot. And I had to go back through and cut the glue. And that's why it looks all jagged and cut up. Because I had to take this back off and push it back down. About two millimeters. About two, um, two or three. Well, about an eighth of an inch. So, I think it looks pretty good for my first time. And... It's very, it's, it's a very delicate, it says. And I think the wood filler is going to save me. I'm hoping. Fill these, all these little cracks. In. Enough talk, more work. So I'm going to go ahead and trim these up. So we can get that one piece on.
And this makes me nervous too because I cut one too short by accident. There's really no in the instructions. It just tells you do it cut at a bevel. There's no measurements or nothing. Just a picture showing this up and see that on this side you're supposed to be able to see the stern and I wish that wouldn't have done that pushed itself up because you cannot see it all that much you see it barely peeking over oh that's so aggravating like I said I went two or three times and made sure it was pushed down uh, I gotta live with tight cutting it I learned my lesson. You can't, if you try to cut this and redo it, you're just going to mess it up. I'm going to have to be. Maybe I can sand it. Sand it down a little bit there. Make it a little bit lower. needs a little off up just for the look of the slant at least if I build another one next time I'll know a lot more yes I wish that, that I just noticed that guy that's really going to drive me nuts that got it There's nothing I can do about it. I'm not going to cut. I ain't going to try to cut it off and replace it. After a while. Because I wanted to. I told y'all last week that I would have the planks done. But I still got work to do on it. I'm going to put uh, more glue through here. And I'm going to take an actual little tiny seed plant. And put on there. Because this is pretty stout. These little spring things just ain't strong enough to push it back. But I want to make sure there's no cracks. I want to go a little bit at a time, let, let it sit there, harden up, and keep moving all the way back to that super tight. I started over, I did this some today back here. I still got just a little bit there. But yeah, I'm going to make sure all these are down flush. So, let's put a little sanding on that tip there. We'll see how much if that one with if that false stern stem we'll see if it'll bend pretty easy by itself not have to put it in anything to make it flexible hopefully it will because that takes some time letting it set I'm trying to think of a good way to hold it on there because they everything's supposed to be super glued and that way they you know it's fast but that super the super glue i have will not hold this i i've said that in the last few videos that's why i want <clears throat> payday friday because that stuff's not cheap either um like lock top super glue it's about eight bucks i have a whole bottle somewhere can't find it I just bought it too, just uh, before my move, and it was eight bucks. It was seven dollars or something, some change. It's a lot for super glue. To me, it is anyway. Ooh, that scared me. Let's see what I'm saying, guys. This thing is giving me nothing but trouble. Now it split that. I'm going to put some glue down that. It's just, it's been a pain. That last plank. you got to have patience with them. Because they will try your patience. 
Yeah, where it popped off, it just split all the way down. I was pushing glue on it. That's all I could do. That's all I can do. And there's... You've got to put these clamps on them. Or it just... There's no way. I'm gonna keep doing that till it really breaks. I don't know what's slipping off over here. All right, that's definitely not gonna work. We're gonna. I'll have to get some wire. I'll just have to wire that whole back end up before I break something. Let me get some wire, guys. Oh. <sighs> Stuff. I've just about used all my spark gap wire, which I've had to redo it anyway. I think uh, I put too much juice to it one day and uh, burned it up because it hasn't worked since. <laughs> Try it this way. See if we can. That's the reason why I didn't do this with the wire because it don't even want to work. I'll just have to deal with that guys off video and we'll have to get that all nice and glued and stuff so that's going to be time consuming I'm, I may just have to hold it there for a few minutes so I don't, I don't want anything to break I, I came too far alright guys yeah I wish that would stay down there it looked so good when they when it was down, pushed our match. Can't look either. Let's get us that one thing fixed, guys. Let's see how flexible this stuff is. Okay, it's pretty flexible. That's how it's going to go on, right, right there. So I got to cut that off. Actually, I know what. I'm going to have to cut this off, and I'm going to have to put a piece going in here connect this because my front end is just it's supposed to be a little bit more back here flush with the stern but I can fix that so let me put, get a measurement here and we'll cut this <laughs> well, this thing is really trying to be patient
goes just like that. So guys, let me, I'm going to pause the video for a minute. Because I've got to figure out how I'm going to glue that and have something to hold it. So let me, I gotta think for a minute. I'll be right back. Oh. Alright, guys. Sometimes you have got to use the old noggin. I, th I think I figured something out. I think I could do this with rubber bands. Um, here, I may have to let this soak in water. Because it is not wanting to bend. Like I want it to. I, I want it more bent on top. I'm afraid if I put another rubber band on it, that's not going to hold because it's not the strongest anyway. I'm going to try. Yeah. I'm not going to be able to put two. Um, I'll try one and then. When that dries, I'll try something else. I'm going to put a little bit more glue. Set there and draw, but see how it don't it don't want to be in there at the bottom. I left it a little long because I'm gonna have to cut it off. But I don't know if it's supposed to go all the way down. It ain't really showing. Yeah, it's supposed to go about right there and bend down through here. So I may have to let this soak. We'll see how it looks. If I can get the, once that dries, maybe I can, maybe I can just soak the nose in water and bend it. I can do it that way too. Make sure it's straight. And then, like I said, where it's not matching here, I'm just going to fill this in, make it a square, make it all look like it's together. Because that's what it's supposed to be. It's supposed to... All this is supposed to be one big piece. So maybe with a little um, wood fill or magic. Alright, there's that. And... I'm going to see, guys, if the, um, that thing came loose again. Oh, it's wanting, it's wanting to drive me nuts today. I want to see if those knees are going to fit, guys, today. We're just going to dry fit them before we get off of here. afraid to touch anything. I'm having no luck today with it. They're in there. There's one. There's two. I 
I'm only gonna be able to test one of them. Okay, this gets like a ring on top. So when it does, it's got a piece of trim. There's the, one of the knees, guys. And one of the instructions are reading, there's a piece of trim that's going to go back here. I guess that's why that's beveled. And then that'll set in. down in here actually I got the right one because that's one that's the, one of the knees but like I said I still gotta it says I cut that off so I got that nice Go to the next page. The quarter knees. It's saying it goes right here like that. That's what it's saying it goes like. Oh my god, there's somebody at the door. Alright guys. Uh, yeah, it's saying that's where they go. They just... Uh, I don't know, it just don't look... I have back with the... That's what they're saying it goes just like that like that and it but it's it's like it's supposed to be more up here and saying it's supposed to be further up so we'll put it right there that's where it goes right like that it goes to the very top like that guys i was just putting it the wrong place that looks better okay see what i'm saying that's where those go so now let's not lose those um, let's see if this piece here. It's called the breast hook. see how this is going to look see it's got that little notch there for the stern to go in which is going to be hard for this rubber band we'll just place it in guys and we'll get a nice look with the rubber band on 
and that goes in like that. It goes over the stern and in. So that's going to fit really well too. I was worried about that. So, guys, I think we're on the right track. Just a very tedious model. Be very aggravating at times. As you see, I've got a lot of work to do. I've got to fix this. I'm going to fix this after the video. Get that back in place. And I'm just going to put it up for a night. I'm, I know, that's one thing I know. If you start having problems, you need to just put it away for a little while. Because it's like dominoes. It'll keep coming. Problem after problem. Alrighty, guys. Um, I hope everybody has a great week. These, like I said, it's Tuesday. It's our Tuesday model build. Hope everybody has a great week. And uh, all that good stuff. Stay safe. And I'll see you all next time right here on Redneck Ways. Bye, guys.